But first tonight, two people are dead and two police officers injured. We are learning more about a chase that led to a deadly shootout, which then led to a deadly crash as police worked the scene. Here's News 13's Tina Jensen. Police have now identified the driver killed in the shootout as 30-year-old Cristobal Quintana, a one-time bank robber. Quintana had been serving a 10-year prison sentence for robbery and was just released on parole two months ago. State police say it started when an officer saw a woman standing on the side of Highway 285 near Roswell around 9 o'clock this morning. She said she had been in a fight with her boyfriend and that he took off in his Jaguar. Officers went after him and four miles later, police and deputies laid out stop sticks and blew out Quintana's tires. They say Quintana started firing at officers. That's when they shot back, killing him. A Roswell police officer was shot in the leg. He's already out of the hospital. State police wouldn't say how many deputies and officers shot at Quintana, but we counted at least 10 bullet holes in his windshield. Back to you. Tina, thank you. A couple of hours later, the crime scene then became the scene of a deadly pileup. State police say a semi-truck driver did not slow down for the bottleneck and hit three other cars, killing 39-year-old Rosemary Becerra of nearby Lake Arthur and critically injuring the officer who was there directing traffic. Police have not released that officer's name.